G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for another fun bridge tournament. I just had to double check that. <laughs> actually, click started. So uh, let's jump in and uh, see what we can do. So here we want to click get started slash practice, exclusive tournaments, and then click view all tournaments and look for bridge vid or Pete Hollands. The winner today is Frederick Norling. Congratulations with just Finova also in equal first, plus 34. Bropag plus 30. Uh, Jock 93 and fourth with plus 29 and Eamon Martin and Gene C. Call uh, plus 26. So congratulations to all of you. So it looks like there's a few few less imps on offer today, uh, but we can see what we can do. Uh, two passes to me and I'm third seat N Neil Vol. Uh, hey David, how's it going? Um, like, firstly, you could pass. You don't have an opening hand. We are in... Uh, third position. So opening light is something I often would do here. So I do want to open, but instead of one diamond, I kind of just want to tell my partner to lead spade. So I'll just bid one spade and uh, partner did push on to three spades. They do think we've got a nine card fit and we got doubled for our efforts as well as we had them in three diamonds. So um, it felt like we were in a good position, uh, but uh, now we're in three spades doubled. So they did not have a fit, but this is the type of hand where um, I would have much preferred if it went like one spade, two clubs, three spades. Now my partner's got some defensive values with king, queen, third heart. So I get why they didn't want to do that, but they still have defensive values when the opponents are in three diamonds. So I'd either sort of... Uh... <laughs> Right, I said, not so many imps on the table and immediately get stuck. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we have two diamond losers, two club losers, and a heart loser off the top. So uh, I'm not making this. Uh, North uh, East has both minors and is a past hand. Dummy's got seven points. And West doubled me for penalties and has five hearts, four diamonds. Do they have four diamonds? East. Oh, they just play that as values. Okay. Is this a penalty double? Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure how the uh, um, ace king of clubs, yeah. Jack of hearts. Right. Okay. Um, so, uh, what's happening here? I think spades are probably breaking. West made a penalty double and they had um, uh, two clubs, five hearts, four diamonds. Um, I might just uh, start with the diamonds here, see what actually happens. Ace of, Jack of diamonds, they won with the ace and are returning a diamond. All right, so my diamonds are all good and uh, I can just claim the rest. Okay, three spades down one. Phew. Okay, so when I got doubled in three spades, I was a little uh, bit worried there. Um, but turns out probably not too bad. Uh, I don't know what I was talking about in the auction. For some reason, I thought West had bid hearts. They bid two clubs. I really <laughs> looking like, wait, East had five hearts? What was <laughs> um, but yeah, West had five clubs and four diamonds. All right, so uh, yeah, ignore most of my analysis from the actual play of that, but it was a pretty easy down one. Um, they, if we were defending, we would have got two spades, a heart, and a diamond. I would have been pretty happy defending three diamonds. If you open one diamond, the opponents would probably get to play somewhere safe. But uh, yeah, how do we go? Flat board. <laughs> so, 
as I said, not too many imps on the table, but two spades is a good spot to get to. Um, most people, uh, yeah, we could have beaten three diamonds and they can beat us uh, two tricks and two spades, but not too easy. So it was kind of a win. Like I pushed them up to where I wanted to do it. And my partner bidding three seems reasonable, but um, I usually would bid it the first time to try and apply pressure to the opponent. Whereas, yeah, they sort of found a way to maybe get us doubled and me regret my actions. Um, so here I just want to bid one diamond, two no. Three hearts, this is like, they've got clubs and hearts. They don't have stuff in spades. I'd really want three spades to be saying, hey, um, I don't actually have a stopper. What What do you want to do? Because I feel, it feels bad having to bid something like four clubs here or four diamonds. But um, here, if partner's got clubs and hearts, usually I'll do this to highlight that they don't have a spade stopper. So we'll bid four clubs. Uh, four hearts here they're using as a Q bid. I'm still not loving my hand. Do have ace, queen of hearts, which are both very useful cards. Ace of diamonds is decent. Um, again, I would want... I, I don't want to bid four no key card. Hand doesn't feel that great. I'm just going to bid five clubs, but maybe we can make six. All my bids felt uh, pretty awkward there. Yeah, so partner had ace king of spades. So um, six clubs is actually a really good contract. Um, the diamond finesse might work. The diamonds might set up. You could maybe rough a heart. So... Um, I think roughing a heart is probably the easiest way to get a 12th trick. So we'll take two rounds of heart and then two rounds of clubs, better follow suit. And then just try and rough my uh, last heart. Oh, clubs are 4 1. Okay, so that was with a natural trick, so that doesn't bother me. All right, so now we get to draw trumps and try the uh, diamond finesse. Yeah, it works. So still make 12, even though uh, the clubs were 4-1. The diamond finesse working uh, helped pick that up. But yeah, so... It's kind of an awkward one. I really wanted some other options here. Um, so over my partner's four heart bid, which was a Q bid, I'd really like four spades just to be like a last train bid, um, which like partner's Q bid and the bypass to suit saying I don't have control of that. I wanted to be able to say, yes, I've got control, but I don't have a hand that really wants to, to commit to trying a key card or to just bid slam. Um, and when four spades was a cubit in spades, that sort of uh, warned me off doing that. Okay, uh, we got three imps for that. Some people bid six no and uh, six no and made six no trumps. Uh, I think six clubs is a significantly better contract than uh, six no trumps. Um, six no trumps needs the does six no trumps need so you got four club tricks three hearts is seven ace king ace queen where's your last trick some sort of squeeze I reckon there's probably like a double squeeze. East has the spade, queen, jack. West has the long hearts and they both have to guard diamonds. Oh, no, diamonds are just three, three. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So hoping for diamonds three, three seems fine. I was still like set on, yeah, let's try and make our club suit winners. If you do that, it won't work. Yeah, most people in 4-0 made 11 or 10, but 
Uh, six clubs, pretty uh, pretty good contract. Five, four, four, ten count. We are first seat fave. I'm definitely going to open this one. We find a fit, and I'm actually going to support as well because my hand's actually gotten to uh, opening strength now that we've found a fit, and we're in four hearts. We've got two really good fits, and we've got three low diamonds opposite a void and singleton spade opposite queen jack fourth. Um, so I want to try and trump my diamonds. Uh, so I think I can trump two of them relatively easily and just hope for a three, two break. So just king of hearts, heart to the ace. Did not get the three, two break. Um, okay. That's annoying. So what do I have to do here? Do I just lose the heart? Then they can return a heart and I'll lose those three others. If I win the ace and go about my business, then they can maybe draw trumps. I think down one's probably what we need to do. Running into the 4-1 break with them having a uh, length wasn't good. Um, wanted to see if West was the person who could show out, and then I could have overtaken to draw trumps. Not the case, but uh, they're rough, and... Um, we're down one. But that was good contract. I could have made it. I think the way I played it was decent. Um, but, uh, yeah. Four hearts down one. Can they make anything? I lost two imps. We can make four hearts. We can make six clubs. They can make four diamonds. So again, four hearts down one uh, seemed fine. On trick two, you lost a potential trick by playing the two of diamonds. It would have been preferable to play one of these cards, the jack 10 or two. Wants me just to finesse through the queen of hearts at trick two. Um, so wants me to like finesse hearts and then just rough one diamond. But yeah, if hearts were three two, I would be be fine. On trick four, you lost one potential trick by playing the ten of hearts. You should have played the ace. Okay, so they could have maybe beaten me two after that. Anyway, um, most lots of people were defending four spades. I guess if they don't open that hand, the opponents might find their spade fit. Get themselves into trouble. Uh, flat 13, so one no, two spades, three clubs. Uh, so that was just a transfer to clubs. Right. Okay. Um... Sand feels a bit awkward to lead from, but I'm just going to lead a uh, diamond here. Uh, diamond to the... I think I got the jack here. Ace jack of clubs. Feels weird that I can't see my cards. Um, right. So... Dummy's got two points. I've got ace jack of clubs and the jack of diamonds, so... I've got 13, two is 15, there's 25 missing. My partner has like eight to 10 points. Went low diamond to the queen and ace. I could hop up with the ace of clubs here. Um, it's not a lot I really want to do straight away, so I might just duck it. My partner's leading hearts through. Okay, let's continue that. Okay, and 
haven't played high low. They I might be able to give them a heart rough. Okay, they got the jack. So they played the second highest from that. Okay, and it looks like I'll just get my king of spades uh, later, right at the end. Okay, down two. Plus one in, most people were doing that. Pit and made three no. How did they get there? Whoa. One no trump strong, pass, two spades, pass, three clubs, three no trumps. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah. Okay, uh, 10 high card points. Pass and no trump. We're vulnerable against not. I was looking at the vulnerability because I was thinking of bidding like a 2 no. I've got the minor sort of bid, um, which if the uh, vulnerability was flipped, maybe you could do that. You could look at making a takeout double here, um, but again, vulnerable against not, I'll just pass. They don't usually just stamen and pass. Four diamond splinter, and now they're, they're queuing. Okay, I've got two useful aces here. Okay. Well, um, Singleton Diamond, right? Uh, I, will the spades go anywhere? Could I give my partner a rough in clubs? No. Uh, there's 10, 12. I had a 10. It's 22, 18 points missing. My partner could have three, but East Cubid spades. I'll take the ace of spades. I feel like you could hold back. I don't think it's going anywhere. Okay, so I've got the rest here. Okay, they had, my partner had the king of diamonds. So they were minimum. They didn't have any wastage. Was a flat board. A whole bunch of people are in four diamonds doubled. Uh, one no trump. Ah, oh, they, they did bid two no trump. So one no trump, two no trump for the miners, just like I was thinking. Yeah, okay. So definitely worth consideration. Again, for me, it's just the vulnerability makes it not worth it. Um, and... Uh, they they can double you and beat you too. Partner doesn't really have much, but yeah. Slightly dodgy overcall, but partner is never afraid to hang you out to dry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're plus two imps overall after five. Uh, not too much to delve into, but here we've got a 10 count. We're favorable again. I really like my mages. I'm going to open it again. I will raise two spades. Again, my hand has now reached uh, like opening strength value now that we've found a fit. Uh, this is just forcing. I want to show a minimum, however I do that. Ooh, is there? It says 11 to 13 and a minimum hand. I wonder if there's like a way to show like an even weaker hand. Hey, yum now. Four no. Okay, perfect. So I'm really glad I opened my hand now. Um, so we'll show one key card. Do I have the queen? No. Okay, we got ourselves to five, but we're just missing one key card on the queen of trumps. Diamond lead. Right. So partner's got a nice hand. 
It looks like I just want to finesse a spade. Um, try and set up hearts. I got some issues in clubs. Um, start by playing like okay. So I got four diamond tricks. Got four diamonds lead. Yeah, like. I could play like a spade to the ace and then cross back and play like a spade to the jack. Um, I could play like a spade to the ace, diamond to the king, spade to the king, try and dump my clubs on diamonds. That seems rather appealing. And then just try and set up that north end. We'll go for that approach. Okay, and hopefully this one doesn't get rough. Okay. So there's queen third on side. Okay, so we've got that. Are we out of the woods? We're out of the woods. Good. Um, I can rough my other two. And we've got 11 tricks. Plus two imps. Seems like everyone's making, making so. Clearly some people went uh, way off base, but you can make six spades there. I think the way that I played that was a reasonable. Um, one thing that it looks like is that uh, I think the robots are playing thirds and fifths leads, which actually changes the uh, point of should I continue uh, diamonds or not. So at this stage, like when I say the two are diamonds, if they're playing fourths, I would know my diamonds are standing up, but playing thirds and fifths, I don't know if they are or not. Um, yeah. Okay, 14 high card points, uh, 16 high, 14 high card points. <laughs> I, I, I saw this here that says 14. I looked at my hand and then uh, counted like 12 or something. Like, oh, actually, oh no, I missed the queen of diamonds. So I've got more than that. And then I was like, oh, I have 14. Let's add those two diamonds in. And then got myself to 16. And I was like, what is going on? Anyway, uh, we'll start with a club. We'll raise that to two spades, four spades. Straightforward auction. Okay, partner's got a nine count. No wastage in clubs, which is nice. They might go like heart, heart, heart rough. Um, if they do that, uh, I'm probably down. So let's just hide the uh, two of hearts. Okay, they didn't do that. So now, and we see the ten of hearts go. Well, I've got these three diamond losers. I want to dump one on the heart. I want to lead towards the queen of diamonds, maybe rough. Dump one on the heart, lose one, rough one. Okay, spades break. Oh, that's singleton ace. No wonder they couldn't get her. Um, so I can dump one, lose one, trump one. I actually just want to hope for a singleton king of diamonds. Probably pretty routine. Plus three imps. Yeah. We're up to plus seven. Final board. 16 high card points, one heart past two hearts. Uh, double. On double again. That feels like too much. I do like my 16 count. Um, surely to pass, right? I was like, do I just, you know, go for some action? And I'm like, no, I, I just can't. Like, too often, like, Declare will just have a singleton diamond. <laughs> they make, like, over tricks or something. 
Um, Jack of Diamonds, right. Kind of want to just overtake that and play another diamond and then... And then what? I don't know what to do after that. We'll duck it. See if partner wants to do something immediately. Six of spades. They switched because they knew. Okay, the diamond was standing up. Did the partner switch to a doubleton? Not exactly sure what my partner switched to, but we did beat the contract. Partner had the ace of clubs. At five diamonds. Okay, so if I double and double again, does partner pass it with that hand? Um, I they should. Some people, you get an extra imp if you double them again. Some people got to five diamonds. I oh, know. Really, partner bids five diamonds with that. To me, that feels pretty soft. You got a defensive trick and a balanced hand. Um, so how do people get there? One heart past two hearts. Three no trumps. Okay, I, can, I get to see how you managed to double it. Anthony GB said, says, bidding five diamonds is so poor with a balanced hand and defensive trick. <laughs> Can't agree more. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, managed to get up to double digits with plus 10. So um, thanks all for coming. Hope you enjoyed uh, this week's Fun Bridge tournament, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.